What's up, buddy? My name's Mango, and welcome back to my retelling story of my D&D campaign. Last episode, we uh, we got a job at, uh, that was supposed to see what happened to the speaker of Cardenville. And also, I laminated my map so it's a little fancy, so it doesn't rip easy. So, and I believe we infiltrated them as, apparently, as a recruits. So, yeah. And before I explain a little bit to the story... Um, I believe we're very, I think I'm going to tell you a little bit, um, I think it's from a different character's point of view at the start, because at my camp, my campaign, that bit nothing really happened, so, I guess might as well, uh, let's get into it. Alright, so this bit of the story is, um, I believe we're going to explain it from Gaz's point of view, because around that bit is apparently, get, um, what we were saying at our, our, Room basically, I think we're room which was I can't remember which room it was. Uh, hang on a sec, let me just check the map because we have a map of the actual place. I'll probably send it up there. So I believe we're supposed to send, we're supposed to saying at oh shit, I can't remember. It was in one of the rooms, I can't remember, but and the speaker he's about to try to sp on gas, trying to spy in, just like sneak into infiltrate into the where the speaker is. So I believe he's supposed to be staying in. Is my map so folding up? Supposed to say is staying in room. Uh, sugar. In room, well, fourteen technically. C fourteen. And yeah, so we're supposed to look. Uh, we're about to head there. Uh, he's about to head there. I believe everyone else is probably staying in their rooms. Liv is sleeping. Hawks is basically sharpening his blade, his long sword, because he wanted to give it, probably give it a little fix. Um, Onsen's doing something I can't remember, and Wraithwind's, I don't know, just waiting around, twirling her thumbs. I don't know. But Gaz is the one trying to spy on the place, so he's trying to sneak around. Um, I believe he went past like there was like some. He saw some like slaves, like um, actually not a slave, but like I I think it's a slave. We got, we didn't really sure. He found like a um tiefling um washing dishes and stuff. Sneak past that. He managed to get into the room, uh, but apparently a guard was there. And um tried to do some sh um self checks, and uh, I believe he did a. I think he did an illusion check, like said like um noise like Psst, oi, or something like that. Um and then he's like, wait, what's that? The guards like checking, he's like. If you don't show yourself, I will lose cut your fingers. And I believe she like left the room, and got it. He got into the um got uh the speaker's room, but apparently he's like um oh you the next are you the next shift, and he's like ah uh, no we're here to rescue you. And uh basically like um I'm with um some me and my group are trying to rescue you. And he's like oh yes finally, so because he's in a nightgown. I basically picture myself, picture him in like, lo almost looks like, um, Geppetto. <laughs> like, you know that clip in the scene where he's like wearing a nightgown and slippers and stuff? That's pretty much all I'm explaining, kind of describe what he looks like. It's like, oh, I better get something. I uh, get some, get his coat out, because, yeah, and uh, there's no other entrance besides the main door. And he was going to go in the open door, but the guy was coming back. And Daz was like, get back, get back. And uh, basically, he decided to say, um, do a self check, failed it, and that, that's kind of what happened. And the, the gods go, Intruder! Intruder! And the alarms go off and everything. We heard the we the group heard the alarms. So basically, we decided to rock. Um, it, was, it was us, and I think it was like six others. So, oh, I don't have the map in my head. Uh, I do have the map in my head, but not physically, because we kind of just drew the map. So basically, we head there. Um, it was us and some guys were coming up, and I de Hawks decided to fly to like fly to all the way to the main entrance, which I was the first one into the room, and decided I decided to stab him, stab uh, stab this woman in the long the long sword. To, so just to trigger them saying, "Oh, we killed the in intruder. We killed we killed her. Managed." 
but at the same time, I think, um, one I got up there fighting her, I think Liv and Sana? No, actually, I think it was Liv, actually. She threw, threw like, a, um, I don't even know what it was. I think it was, like, a firebomb or Molotov or something. But she grabbed it, threw it in the stair, because a lot of group, the whole group was up the stairs at the point. Threw it and decided to, actually, no, it was Reese when I got, I went the first, Reese when came second upstairs so she's ahead of the rest of the group and she threw the bomb uh decided to kill him but actually when we killed we also at the same time when we killed the person me and guys killed the person there we killed it and a mysterious thing happened so apparently the bodies turned into solid ice which when we killed it I, once we killed it we were like uh, well I, I was like what the hell which was very odd, and the rest of the group turned to ice as well. I didn't see it, but... Rizwin, I think she managed to kill a god um, behind her. So basically... Okay, so I picture myself... I picture her, Rizwin doing like a... Um, hang on a sec, let me just... Let me just react to it a bit. Um, oh shit, I don't know if my camera could do it. So okay, do this. She's holding the... Ha like a whole... Um, um, Warhammer. She basically goes up the stage and goes... And then bash her and kill them first try, which was insane. So, <laughs> kill them. Um, and I believe I didn't know. I we didn't know what to do. So, I decided to. I think Sonata actually um uh, lived just a command to Sonata to like to attack one of them. Managed to, but I think I also decided to grab my bow. Decided to shoot it. Hits it and I shoot him. <laughs> I he took an I shot him in the knee, an arrow to the knee. Yes. Killed. We managed to kill him, but like she's like, oh my. I forgot what he said. Like, something with a T. I can't remember the word. <laughs> he then turned to ice and then like he collapsed and stuff. Rolled downstairs. And yeah, we managed to kill the group. So and then I I did like I looked to Gaz and do like the uh, like a. Uh, did a symbol like saying go check because actually the speaker he's in another room he's like hiding and i told the guys like to say like uh just before the fight so i was like i did get look the guys go do the sim uh do the sim uh go check him out go knock on the door and say it's all clear for now it's all clear for now we grabbed him basically and i feel like we took him downstairs and all of a sudden in the other stick side of the staircase which was the seeker which, uh, for you guys who don't know what the seeker is, it's the person that's like the wise person, like the one that's like supposed to see what um they can see the future and stuff. So she says up like this: I got oh, finally it's just in time. Got the staircase and says like um I have something important to tell you, but I don't think I will be alive when you escape. So. I basically told Ox to say, like, um, no, actually, I tried to, like, grab my bow and say, like, wait, how do you know we can trust you? And basically, she just walked past me, like, she didn't give a F. Like, uh, okay. Took my bow out, put it away. And she said uh, an urgent message for us, saying, she saw this in the future, saying, um, uh, something is, d we, uh, something about the sunblight. Something sunblight, which... Which is a group of, um, which this person's like a group of, um, I can't remember what the race is called. It's like a, it's like the Underdark, um, like Dwarfs. And race one knows about that, knows about these race. But apparently there's a fortress, um, somewhere in the spine of the world. That's like down south. Um, apparently it's like saying, or so down south or something, I can't remember. Um, it, and I believe it was supposed to, like, um, there's something that's going to attack at the uh, all ten towns. There are some pre pre uh, predictions that think, oh god, there we go. Uh, there are some predictions that say we will succeed and stop it, or we don't, or we die. A lot of endings, a lot of possibilities. But we're not strong enough to do this. So, I basically said it's like, okay, first of all, ouch. Second of all... What is destroy? And the second I was about to say what is going to destroy Ten Towns, she died. So, 
Oh, well, I we were upset. I, I did not know. I mean, honestly, breaking the fourth wall, we basically, I was, we were all joking around, like, live, damn it, live, just slapping her the snapper. But, because she literally died the second I asked the most important fucking question. <laughs> so, uh, Oh, it was funny. Even the DM was laughing his head red. Um, anyway, James. Anyway, uh, going, where was I? So, basically, we decided we had no time before the guards, more guards show up. So, we grabbed the, the speaker to head off to the... We decided to head down to the, um... Oh, shoot, let me get the map again. Because I'll probably send it up to the wall there, so... So, basically, we head down to... Down to C6, around that area, just so we can open the gates. Just so we can open it up and leave. So we rolled up the gates, and um, no, actually, no, 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 not roll up gates. Sorry. Um, pause in a moment. Rewind. Um, I think some woman uh, showed up. Was was woman there saying like, wait, yeah, have you seen the intruders or anything? Um, it's like I, me and um, I think who else was there? It was me and Rizwin, I think it was. Or was it Gaz? I can't remember. Um, so basically saying about like, um, oh yeah, we have no idea what's going on, what's going on. And all of a sudden, the second we said it's that, and then the speaker showed up. The speaker showed up, like, oh yeah, we're here. Oh yeah, I'm here. Okay, finally. And as we saw, she saw us and they looked at us like, you're, you're in the intruders. And I tried to grab her and like, try to put my claw up uh, against her neck, but I failed. So basically the attack starts. So there was... It was a girl, and then there's a guy that's like sleeping, basically, just... Yeah, and she's... She fights the fight like... the re uh, I think we try to fight it. I tried to use my claws and stuff. Um, who was it? it was, I think it was Rizwin. I tried to use her hammer and stuff, but... And all of a sudden, I think at the same time, um, a... She summons like an ice field, force field. And then all of a sudden, the guy who was sleeping woke up. He's half asleep, by the way. Decided to grab his dagger saw and like that. And I just said, like, it's like, take care, take care of that one. Ah, uh, this one. Leave this one to me. I grab my long sword out, try to fight it, and then I try to, like, attack and stuff. And all of us, I mean, like, sort of sort of managed. I kind of hit him here. And I think, oh, I think at the time, and some other guards decided to show up. Behind us, but Liv and Rick, uh, Liv and Sana actually are guarding the speaker and the entrance, so they're all take they're all taken care of. And the store and this, that part is, um, I believe, Gaz sneaks past, and he's trying to attack uh, attack the guy that I'm attacking as well. But apparently, the guy had this weed ability. He grabbed him by the he grabbed Gaz by the throat. And all of a sudden, like, darkness was, like, controlling him all over the veins and stuff. And literally passed out. Stuff, and I was shocked witnessing it. And I saw, like, guys! Just tried to attack, just tried to attack him, but I missed. And then I think, like, I think I managed to, I think, no, I didn't live, live, kill, oh, no, not live. Rizwin, sorry. Decided to kill the shield, uh, the protective post, force field, ice force field. Managed to kill her. I think she managed to kill the uh, the other guy as well. And I decided I st I really reacted to get uh, to her with gas. I tried to use cure wounds on him to heal him. And then um, I think the next thing was he does he decided to like he came back. The Halo music starts levitate like coming on. And. He merely tries like you bastard like try to kick the guy dead. I'm like, mate, 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 mate. I hold him like, mate, I think he's dead. So basically, I think me and Gaz are trying to open the gates, trying to wind it up. Rizwin decided to grab his th her throwing axe, and I think she tried to grab like think duck and try to use it and throw it, throw it at one of the guards that um at the other end. Hits direct hit, kills them. And I think we tried to like grab some other. Oh, they grab them. Kill. We kill, managed to kill the rest of the group. I think like Rizwa. Uh, no, not Rizwa. Freaking. Sana killed the, uh, killed the rest of the groups. But we opened the gates. 
I think we all decide to head down. Head down to the area, exit the building. Um, I don't know, actually, no, before that, actually, we did the, we saw the, because some of the, the only weird thing, detail is, in the last episode, I think I mentioned there was a sword amulet that was there. So we grab. so some of us grabbed it, there was, um, it was Onsen, it was Onsen, Liv, and Gaz, they decided to grab it. I didn't grab an amulet, because, no, because all the amulets around the cultists, were um, apparently like everything was fro all whole body was frozen except for the amulet, which was weird. So we're going to stu we're going to study it. So we grabbed, so they grabbed it, and we decided to head off, and decided to leave on our Albert sled, head to uh, Ben Bryn Shander. We head there, and um, a bit, and the guard, uh, the speaker said like, I just want to say thank you guys so much for rescuing me. And it's like, um, when you, uh, if you ever come back to this place, you are welcome, more than welcome to come back to the place. You're welcome as get, as honored guests. And basically, me Hawks, um, I decided to say, well, since we're that invited, I guess you should know who rescued you. So I'm Hawks. This is Liv. This is Gaz. Um, Rizwin, and yeah. So it's like, oh, it's, it's an honor, it's an honor to knowing you guys. Thank you so much. If you if we go once we get to Brenchander, meet t tell me to get me to the mayor or town leader of the place, and we'll get some guards and stuff, and they'll um take out the rest of those cultists. So we grab there. I think on the way there, two things that was happening. One, I looked up and I saw like I saw from the distance in the sky a white eagle. So I wasn't sure what it was, and I thought it was one of, maybe one of my own kind, maybe. But, I did a survival check, check that. And apparently, it checked, um, it checked, but it wasn't an Aarakocra, sadly. But, what it was, it looked very high in the distance, really high up. Almost up to, like, where mountains would be, but, it was a giant eagle. Which, I was sad, it was interesting what it was, but I had no idea, but... And then the other group was, they were studying the amulet, seeing what it was. Onsen, uh, there was like, um, they tried to look, the two of the, um, Onsen did not look it deeper into it, but like, Liv and the guys looked deep into it. But, so far, okay, like, we looked into the amulet and some, they looked into, no, not we, guys and Liv looked into the amulet, but apparently they got, their souls got corrupted into it. So... Their alignments now from Liv was chaotic neutral and Gaz was neutral. Was neutral. They're both changed into lawful evil. So they basically sort of went evil, but like they look very sus. Like very sus, but like um, Hawks is the only one who knew Liv looked a little bit sus. But Onsen, I think, knew about Liv. I mean, we didn't know about Gaz though, but like. Rinswin didn't even know anything, but it makes sense because she's kind of new to the group. So I guess we all like huddle around, like I mean, Onsen huddled us around. Uh, so me, Rinswin, and Gaz said so like I don't think we should keep trust uh, live right now and stuff. So yeah. <laughs> so I didn't. We don't know Gaz was evil as well. Like got corrupted evil. So I guess on our way there, we managed to get to. Oh boy. We managed to get to the town, or to Brenchander, and um, what else was there? We look, um, we got there, and I think we basically stayed there for the, stayed at a, I think it was like a, ta a tavern or something like that for the night, and we decided to head to the mayor, mayor's place, and I think we got in like 50 gold, which is a lot, and the cultists and the group, uh, some guards like decided, and the mayor decided to grab some guards. Decided to take out the cultists, which, yeah, so basically we successfully took out that missions, so, yeah, and I believe, okay, this is actually quite of a short one, actually, I thought it'd be longer, but, this is probably short, uh, the shortest episode yet, so I believe this one is where we're gonna, this is kind of where we ended the series, uh, session so far, which, yeah, so basically, um, Liv and well, so far we only know, the characters only know Liv was evil. And 
so far, yeah, which... Yeah, this is interesting. This is the interesting story so far, which... No, the one thing that got my head on my mind, um, Hawks' mind, is probably at the time, was the prophecy that the speaker told us. What would be just... What could be destroying Ten Towns? Which, we're not strong enough yet, but... Yeah, whatever it is, I hope we're ready for it. And I guess we'll I'll probably just end the, um, the session. That's probably when the session ended here. Which, I don't know when, um... I think next episode, or next session, would be, like, me... Expo I think it'll be... I don't know what else is going to happen. It's probably just going to be me trying to, um... We're going to try to figure out maybe go... Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention. Um... No, the session had a... We got a new... Uh, another prize besides 50 gold. We got a new a new inn. Uh, it's an abandoned inn. So, in... Brinchander. So... Another inn. It's point... I feel like it's pointless now, but like... I feel like we have too many inns already. Because we have one in Lonely Woods and one now here. Which... I think we should probably have a look at... Um, Brinchander, maybe? I'm not sure. But I think at that time we we're probably gonna head back to Tamerlane or something like that. But I'm not sure. So yeah, well th I guess this is the end for the for the episode. Um. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, s this listening in for this video. If you liked it, guys, please tap the like button down below. Click subscribe. Click the notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, people, stay awesome.